Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and today in this video we'll be taking a look on Android P developer preview 2 for OnePlus 6. Previously on developer preview first we had lots of bugs and now we have the second build of Android P for OnePlus 6 and this seems to be working fine. So to install this download the file given in the description below place it inside the internal storage go to system update choose local upgrade and select the ROM file. Once the installation process is completed, boot your device into recovery and perform a factory reset. And performing factory reset will delete the entire data from your internal storage. So make sure to take a backup before doing this. So now let's go to the settings and let me show you the software information, system, advanced, about phone, Android version and here you can see Android version is 9 before it was Android version P which was mentioned on the first build and the security patch over here is 5th May 2018 so the security patch has been still not updated and this is a new quick setting panel which is completely redesigned power menu is also redesigned over here and one more major change what you can see is the setting panel has also been completely redesigned which is similar to Samsung devices now so first moving on to the launcher here launcher is still not been updated as you can see launcher here is 2.3.3 and on other devices of oneplus like oneplus 5 and 3 we already have oneplus launcher which is 2.4 so moving on to the camera camera application works fine over here no issues in that front portrait is still not available on this build and talking about slow motion now 480 frames per second is available which was missing in the previous build you also get a new design and new call UI for dialer application. Inside settings, Wi-Fi and internet services are working fine including old services. Bluetooth also, there are no issues in pairing with any other Bluetooth device. Under display, you have everything working fine like night mode, reading mode which can be enabled from here. After that you have screen calibration in which you have RGB mode, adaptive mode and some custom colors. There is only one bug which I have found out under notch display. So as you can see if you try to hide the notch area, one more notch comes exactly below the present notch. So for this now you have to restart your phone and everything will be back to normal. Under ambient display you have lift up display and new notification wake up. Then we have customizations which includes theme having option default light and dark. You can also change the ascent color and if you want you can choose the custom ascent color from here. Under battery style you don't get option of battery percentage on this build. And now full screen gestures are working fine on this build. If you want to keep navigation bar you can select any of these options and if you want to use the full screen gestures which are working perfectly fine now. You also have quick gestures in which you can use fingerprint sensor to take photos, flip to mute, three finger screenshot and later you have few screen of gestures. Alert slider can be customized from here. Moving inside security and lock screen, now face unlock is available here. So as you can see, I've already added my face. Let me lock the screen and show you guys. So as soon as I press the power key, the device instantly unlocks. So face unlock has been added on this build. After that, you have option of utilities in which you have gaming mode, parallel app. You can also lock the applications. And this feature was available on Samsung S8. I remember this feature they introduced on Android Nougat to schedule the power on or off. So if you want to schedule your device, the device will power on or off as per the schedule time. You also have pocket mode available. Then under settings, you have recent app management, which includes normal clear and deep clear. So guys, these are the things available on the latest update of Android P, which is in developer preview version 2 for OnePlus 6. So now let's take a look on the benchmark results. Going with Geekbench application and under this single core scores 2423 wherein multi core scores 8293. But on the previous developer preview 1, single core scored 2477 wherein multi core scored 8474. On this build device scores 282850 wherein on the previous build it was 277691. And talking about app crashes, there is no app crash till now. I've been using since almost one, one and a half hour. 
the device is super stable no issues till now no heating issues so tomorrow you can check out the pin comment for the battery backup so guys that's it in today's video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day